All right, YouTube viewers, I am here with Hot Rods GM Brad Cullen. <laughs> close. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, I'm a... Assistant GM Greg Coleman, but we're close. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll well, talk about the Hot Rods a little bit. This new baseball team here in Bowling Green. What do you look forward to about opening day? What what aren't we looking forward to for opening day? Mm -hmm. I mean, the first ever game in uh, you know, Bowling Green baseball history, Hot Rods history, and uh, we're excited. It's a beautiful new ballpark, Bowling Green ballpark. Uh, and we're expecting a capacity crowd. We've already sold out every box seat in the house, so we're looking forward to introducing the the fans to our brand of uh, our, our brand of baseball and entertainment. So uh, it's exciting. A lot of details mm -hmm. to get ready to get there, but uh, looking forward to seeing it all come together. And now here's an inter interesting angle that I will cover on the first up game of the first game here in Bowling Green. The first game is against the team that Dale Earnhardt Sr. owned. Talk a little bit about that. The Kannapolis Intimidators. They're the uh, Class A affiliate of the Chicago White Sox. And uh, yeah, that was really big news when, uh, when uh, Dale Sr. bought that team. And uh, uh, obviously it's named after him. And uh, that area has a, a great heritage for motorsports. And so, uh, although our area for motorsports isn't too bad either with the uh, that's why we named the Hot Rods. Yeah, that's the, re the reason. Uh, I got a lot of s flack about that when the team was named the Hot Rods. I'm like, well, Hot Rods does have to do with Bowling Green. You can give them that. So now you're the affiliate of the Tampa Bay Rays, who just uh, went on a miraculous run to the uh, World Series. Didn't win it, but got close. They had a great year last year, uh, you know, to, to make it all the way to the World Series. And... Uh, uh, I don't know who would pick them out of the out of the gate at the start of the year last year to be uh, the American League champions, but uh, by the end of the year they had everybody believing, and uh, you know a great mix of of uh, young talent, uh, you know a couple of uh, key veterans and some uh, some interesting or some some key roles. Uh, so uh, yeah, what a what a great run they put together last year. Of course now they've set the bar at a certain level for this year, uh, and uh, they've added a couple of nice pieces this year. Uh, you know I know. Uh, they added Pat Burrell from the Phillies during the offseason. So, uh, but they've got a, they've got a, a, quite a competition against the, the Red Sox and the Yankees and that whole American League East just to get out of their division. Uh, it's it's a it's a dogfight. So, uh, we're expecting great things. And uh, of course, one of the great things about being affiliated with the Rays is they they've had a tradition of developing young talent. And uh, you know, being a minor league affiliate, you know, we'll see those guys here. So that that's exciting to see them three or four years before they're on the big stage. Well, thanks for joining me on the show today. So, well, thank you. Sorry I got your name wrong. That's all right. <laughs>